As always, begin with a well-mixed sample of whole blood. Puncture diaphragm of reservoir using shielded 20 microliter pipette. Remove shield from pipette and by capillary action draw blood until completely filled. Wipe outside of pipette with Kim wipes being careful not to touch the ends as 20 microliter volume is critical. Squeeze Unopet Reservoir slightly forcing air out. Place pipette into diluent reservoir. Allow air to be drawn into reservoir by releasing pressure. Gentle squeezing of reservoir and releasing will ensure proper rinsing of pipette. Be careful not to expel diluted sample out of overflowing chamber. Let stand 10 minutes to allow red blood cells to completely hemolyze. While waiting for the solution to mix, obtain the following materials, a hemocytometer, a cover glass, and a humidity chamber. Wet the gauze in the humidity chamber by placing a few drops of water on it. The hemocytometer and the cover glass should be cleaned first using an alcohol swab. It should be dried using only a cotton gauze, otherwise the glass will get scratched. After the 10 minutes have passed, expel a few drops of diluted sample through pipette. Charge hemocytometer, being careful not to over or underfill chamber. Place charge hemocytometer into humidity chamber. Allow to stand 10 minutes. You are now ready to count the platelets and the white blood cells under the microscope. As always, begin with a well mixed sample of whole blood. Puncture diaphragm of reservoir using shielded 20 microliter pipette. Remove shield from pipette and by capillary action draw blood until completely filled. Wipe outside of pipette with Kim wipes, being careful not to touch the ends as 20 microliter volume is critical. Squeeze Unopet Reservoir slightly forcing air out. Place pipette into diluent reservoir. Allow air to be drawn into reservoir by releasing pressure. Gentle squeezing of reservoir and releasing will ensure proper rinsing of pipette. Be careful not to expel diluted sample out of overflowing chamber. Let stand 10 minutes to allow red blood cells to completely hemolyze. While waiting for the solution to mix, obtain the following materials, a hemocytometer, a cover glass, and a humidity chamber. Wet the gauze in the humidity chamber by placing a few drops of water on it. The hemocytometer and the cover glass should be cleaned first using an alcohol swab.
it should be dried using only a cotton gauze. Otherwise,